Hello, Alan here again with Firewalls.com. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to enable your Sophos XG firewall to be a remote Ethernet device or RED controller. Enabling the remote Ethernet device or RED management is a great way to extend your network to remote locations. Utilizing a RED device in our remote locations will automatically create a secure VPN tunnel back to the primary UTM requiring little to no technical experience at the remote locations. Essentially, they will be just plugging it in. The setup consists of our Sophos firewall located in the main office and our remote Ethernet device or RED in our remote offices or satellite locations. Establishing a connection between the two is extremely simple as the RED appliance itself does not require any configuration at all. From what we've seen here at Firewalls.com is that deploying REDs are becoming increasingly popular for small, medium, and even enterprise networks, allowing us to extend our network to branch and satellite offices as it doesn't require any additional licensing or on-site networking experience, yet we can still achieve all of the same security scanning and routing when configured appropriately. As soon as the RED appliance is connected to our Sophos firewall, it behaves just like any other network device. All of our network from both the branch or satellite offices can be safely routed, meaning that our branch office will be just as secure as our local network, making it extremely cost effective and less of a burden to administrators as everything is configured and maintained within one central spot in our Sophos XG web admin. Enabling RED is extremely simple and first we'll need to be logged into the web admin of our Sophos XG firewall. Configuring the RED devices is performed a little bit differently here in our Sophos XG OS, so if you're familiar with the SG OS, this is just a little different, however, has the same functions and operates exactly the same. So, let's go ahead and jump into our web admin to get started. Here, in our web admin, we'll select System from our main menu, followed by System Services in our submenu, and RED. Here is where we will enable the RED feature simply by selecting our toggle switch where we will then be prompted to complete some basic information about our organization. We will start by entering in our company name and location, our country, and lastly an email address. Select apply where we can see that our RED configuration settings have been updated here under automatic device deauthorization, we have the ability to deauthorize our RED device by selecting the enable button. We can automatically disable our RED device by selecting the enable button. Here, we can specify our deauthorized time, so in the event our RED location goes offline for the specified time, the device will automatically be deauthorized. This is a built-in security feature to remove the possibility of somebody of somebody taking your RED device and connecting it, for instance, at their home, which in turn will re-establish our VPN tunnel and provide them access to the internal network. Therefore, I strongly recommend that we set this interval and typically between five to 10 minutes seems to be appropriate. Keep in mind though, in the event the remote location goes offline for the specified time, the RED device will need to be reauthorized. Select apply where we can see that our automatic device deauthorization has been successfully added. And that's it. We can now begin to add some red devices, which is demonstrated in a separate video. Thanks for watching.